I'll be stuck. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a tutorial on how to do sewing bangs in a visible pony. So if you would like to see how I got this look, just stay tuned, keep on watching. section off the piece that you're gonna braid kind of like a u-shape okay. You'll see why when I'm done, but you just braid it long enough so it doesn't unravel. And then you go for your next piece. So I'm just gonna put some gel on 
that little piece that was left and that that got hard and it protects it from the glue these are the braids and it all should go back like that okay so now i'm just gonna sew on the braids have some eight inch hair and you have your needle and thread and your hair so i'm gonna start from the side i'm gonna start Onto the same braid since I have the thread in already on this side, I'm not gonna cut it, I'm just gonna sew this in from that side. track on that same braid the second braid just because I like my bangs a little thick if you don't like your bangs too thick then you don't have to you could just go on to the next one but I like mine a little thick so I'm gonna add another track onto that one sewing the tracks in I just have to put the little piece right here I went and I added an extra track on the bottom so this is what it's looking like so far so now what you're gonna do is you get the hair And you're gonna roll it. So 
So basically, you're rolling it so that it fits into the space. Right? After you roll some, this is how much I roll so far. Okay? You can take it and you can see if it's fit in between. So mine's fit in between. So I'm that's all I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna get my scissors and just cut off the rest. Put that to the side. Okay, so now you have that. So now you're gonna go and you're gonna get your glue. I put some gel here. So now you have your piece. This is how much I'm going to use to fit in that closing. Right? And you're going to take the glue and you're going to put it along the way. Right? So now... I have the glue on the left. Now you're gonna roll it again as tight as you can. So right here you can go and you can blow dry it. So it can hurry up and dry. I don't feel like getting the blow dryer, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just gonna hold it together for a few. Okay, so I have my flat iron heating up. What you're gonna do, you're gonna take it and you're gonna open it. Let me turn it this way. You're gonna open it. Like so. And you're gonna like try to have the hair distribute distribute it. You're gonna try to have the hair as even as possible going like a half circle, right? You see? And you gotta open it like that and just spread the hair out like this. now we have the hair like this we're gonna take our flat iron and we're gonna press it down right. you just take it you put the flat iron in there my flat iron heats up quick so and you just hold it in between Just squeeze to flatten the top. In the top. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our glue and we're gonna put glue right here. You don't have, have to put too much. And sometimes you could take some some spritz or you know some holding spray. And put it on it. Now you have your glue. And you're gonna take it and you're gonna place it right in between. From here, you can get the blow dryer. You can use that to dry it. I'm not going to. I'm just gonna hold it in place. This is so hard to do when you're not in the mirror. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but. I can do it on someone else's head if you guys want to see it again. But what I'm going to do, since I have.
have some more tracks left. I'm gonna add some more. I'm gonna double it and just add some more on the bottom. From here, since you have you have your bangs, you could do whatever you want with the rest of your hair. Before I used to use hairspray instead of gel. Because I find that works better. The gel is just like if the hair is straight you use hairspray so you know see how you have your hair braided those you're gonna you're gonna take that out so easy so I don't really want to put too much so it could be on my scar I just want some on my hand so I'm just spraying the spritz in my hand and just rubbing it on my hair where I want to smooth it out from down here and wrap it around but I'm gonna use hair pins if you want to use glue you can use glue you can use braiding hair and braid your um braid your hair and then you can get some wrapping strips and wrap your hair with that and glue it or you can just get some braiding hair to protect your hair and then glue this around glue, glue the hair around your um braid some hair pins Cut under your hand and not over your hand because a lot of times when you cut over your hand it ends up being shorter than you want it and it's best to cut longer and then work your way up than to do a one cut and then it's too short because if it's not your hair it's not gonna grow back you'll have to take it out and do it over and um if it's your hair you gotta wait till it grow back you know what I'm saying 
So cut under your finger. This is the finished look okay i added a crown because i'm about to leave out but this is the finished look all i did i just went and added some curls with my curling wand i cut my bang a little more and i bumped it it's me so yeah this is the top of the bang I don't know if you can see it. 